An absolute blockbuster story. Leaked documents reveal that the Biden administration has been influenced by key members of an Iranian influence agency. Have you been wondering lately why the Biden administration seems so eager to make deals with the evil regime in Iran? Not only did we just negotiate a so-called hostage swap with them where we ended up giving them, what, $5 billion that they'll use to persecute their citizens and maybe even to help terrorists across the Middle East. But we're also hell-bent on restarting that nuclear deal that the Obama administration jammed through and that President Trump canceled the second he had an opportunity. Why is the Biden administration so interested in making sure that we have good, healthy relationships with such an evil country. Meet Robert Malley. He was the Biden administration's special envoy to Iran right up until last June when he was put on leave. His security clearance was suspended, and now he's the target of an investigation. According to investigative reporters at Iran International, Mr. Malley was in deep with high-level influencers from the Iranian government. So after the Biden administration hired Mr. Malley to be the point person on their Iran policies, he hired two individuals, someone named Ariane Tabatabai and another person named Ali Vaez. These two belong to a group called the IEI, the Iran Experts Initiative. And the IEI was established by the Iran Foreign Ministry in 2014. It was basically a group of second-generation Iranians who were experts on Iran policy. They got themselves onto think tank panels. They would meet at conferences and talk about American-Iranian policies. They would write articles and white papers and columns. They were the go-to experts on Iran, and they were working for the Iranian foreign ministry. Three Iran experts who have worked closely with Robert Malley, the Biden administration's special envoy on Iran, were members of an influence network formed and guided by Tehran. President Biden named Mali to be a special envoy for Iran in 2021. Mali had previously served as a top diplomat in the President Obama administration. He helped to negotiate the 2015 landmark nuclear deal with Iran, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or the JCPOA. The accord, which aimed to curb Iran's nuclear activities, was abandoned by President Trump, who branded it as the worst deal ever and reinstated crippling sanctions on the Islamic Republic. The members of the network wrote articles to explain and defend Iran's foreign policy and its nuclear and military activities. They also gave interviews to major media outlets, attended panels, and provided advice to Western governments on Iran. In all cases, they introduced themselves as independent analysts. On June 2, 2014, Ariane Tabatabai attended a conference in Iran, her emails showed, and in the same trip discussed a project to work with the IPIS. She has worked since 2022 for the United States Department of Defense and currently holds a clearance issued by the U.S. government, but a former senior U.S. official said a relationship of this nature between Ariane Tabatabai and a foreign government, especially Iran, should have precluded her from obtaining such a security clearance. Whether she registered as a foreign agent or not, she shouldn't have been given a security clearance because she was having these interactions with a hostile power in order to try to influence U.S. policy, unquote. Both the State Department and Pentagon declined to comment on the substance of the correspondence related to the IEI, but said they support Ariane Tabatabai and the vetting process involved in the approval of her security clearance. Dr. Tabatabai was thoroughly and properly vetted as a condition of her employment with the Department of Defense, the Pentagon said in a statement. All the while, the members of the IEI were presenting themselves as independent analysts, even though they were recruited and read in by the Iranian foreign ministry. And Mr. Malley brought them in to the State Department's operations, and they got security clearance from the U.S. government. This relationship got so insidious that Ali Vayez was literally drafting tweets on behalf of Mr. Malley, the key envoy for the United States government in our negotiations with Iran. This investigative report by Iran International includes thousands of emails they were able to see that confirmed the relationships here. And it's truly a blockbuster. I recommend that you read the entire article for yourself. But as the Biden administration continues to march this country head first into another disastrous Iran nuclear deal, everything, and I mean everything, with regard to this administration's plans for Iran should be put on hold immediately and the Senate should take up 
their own investigation. Like, now.